Good morning, you guys. There's nothing like starting the day off with a little grip of an order. Let's flip this around. It took me about 30 minutes. It's a pretty bad stack, and uh, that's not supposed to be down there. Okay. All right. Not bad. Update, I still have not gotten a cart, and this first full stack right here is going to a second floor a business. All right, so it's time to load this baby up right now and uh, get this Monday going. got it all in with room to spare, barely. What can make an order like this difficult is when there's like paper towels or toilet paper, along with other cases of water. So, but we got it done. Now we are heading to deliver. And thankfully they are both not too far from each other in the same location. So let's go drop this off and hope that this first drop off to the business is not too difficult. But either way, you know, I asked for it since I didn't uh, buy a cart yet. So maybe this order will change my mind about that. All right, Jacket had to come off for this one. So we got this and we are going through there and then up an elevator. I don't know. We're gonna try to get everything there first and then we'll take it all up and then I'll unload from there. So wish me luck on this. I am not looking forward to it. All right, so we have our door prop and we have our elevator, I think straight ahead. I'm pretty sure I've been here before, like a while ago. We are done with customer A, and all I have to say is yikes. That was that was absolutely brutal. Uh, really makes me consider getting a cart, except at the end there, I was uh, like in the middle of getting everything to the elevator and the guy comes out. Actually, the dude was just showing up for work and he's like, hey man, he's like, is that for sweets, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. So dude's like, let me go get you a cart. I was like, all right, for sure, but that works. And uh, he made it easy on me. I mean, for the majority of the time when somebody orders that much stuff as a business, most of the time they have a cart, but you can't rely on it. So it's good to have like a small little breakdown cart that you can keep in your back seat or your trunk. But we are going to customer B. I am about seven minutes away. I'm pretty sure we're gonna make 10 a.m. Costco drop. So hopefully this one goes a lot easier. It should be very smooth, it's a house. And then we're gonna flip right around and head to Costco. Up, you guys, we are uh, on round two. I didn't film any of the shop or anything like that. The store, it was a lot of work. Uh, I didn't get any pictures, but uh, full car and I have a nice long walk and some stairs, so. We're gonna drop this guy off and then uh, I'll show you guys what this number is. All this right here, two, four, six, eight cases of water, four boxes. I'm not gonna reveal any of the customer's personal information, but let's watch how far we had to go. That was some work and a cart would not have been helpful. We gotta go charge up because we are low on miles. So today we're at Bevmo. It's about 1:43 p.m. Here, give me, give me, give me stocking for a minute. So we're at. Just give you the breakdown. So it's just shy of 2 p.m. We uh, we got some good orders early in the day, and then we ran a quick Vons 27. Got some coffee, and we're posted up. We passed on some trash, but you know we're waiting on that banger right now. You guys want to see me catch a good one? All right, here, bring it in, bring it in right now. All right, ready? So we're gonna do, <laughs> that's, that's not it. That's not it right there. We don't want that nine. You know, it's that 145 pop, that's 145 right now. Right here fishing, let me cast my line. Cast, cast it, lock back in. I don't know why I do that. I think it's just because I'm bored sometimes. Come on, PL, pick me up, pick me up. You gotta manifest it, right? You gotta manifest that energy. What do you think it's gonna be? Sprouts, Ralphs, Bonds? Okay, what time do we get here? Let me look. We're going here about 30 minutes now. Are you filming me? <laughs> Are you still going? Yeah. I don't know, sometimes driving around helps. So we'll see. Maybe taking a little cruise, getting out of PA. 
healed. There's so many people in here. <laughs> right, is it good? Is it wide? Yes, it's wide. Okay, so we got this little 33 right here. Uh, it's a 20 flat tip, which is nice, but I mean, you know, it's pretty easy. One customer, I don't know why it's not letting me zoom out. There we go. It's, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna run through it, and with a 20 flat tip, you know, we refund something, it's not gonna go down, so I'm not really tripping about refunding stuff. So. Dude, this whole store is messed up with aisles. Why? Like, all the aisles are wrong. What's the time on it? Uh, it took a minute. It's 223. Took, I think, like 22 minutes. So, Not bad. She didn't want any replacements. Oh, you're filming. <laughs> yeah, horrible service in this area. There's like this Vons and then a couple other stores in San Diego that are actually really bad when it comes to service. It's still spinning. Uh, we're running a 20. Three? How long did you wait for it? I didn't wait that long. It's 10 long. items. I couldn't say no. It's starting to heat up too on uh, Monday. All right, what's up you guys? We just got back. So 320, we're up 266. It's not bad considering we had a little coffee break. And honestly, I usually don't work Point Loma. I work more north, but this actually has been decent to, to me down here. Some little easy 20s. Let's see if we can make our way. Probably north-ish. I want to try to get the 300 as fast as possible. Even if it means running another quick little 25 or 30 to get there. Why are you trying to get to 300 before four? Just so I have a better chance to get to four and potentially five. It just depends on how I get fed today. If I, you know, if they're constantly giving me good orders to run, then, you know, we're gonna go for, like, I never wake up and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go out and make 500 today. I wake up and it's like, all right, let's see how they treat me today. It might be 300, it might be a grind to get to 250. Really? Really? I had a tough day yesterday. So it is 4.04. We're trying to get a banger. We're trying to get something, I don't know. I would be happy with a 50. He passed up a 38. There's a 24 sitting. I don't want it though. They can pair it and make it a 50. I'm not gonna test the add-ons right now. Even though, honestly, an add-on probably would come. I don't think so. This time? Mm -mm. Oh, people really don't want that 24. Like, actually. The hand stretch. <laughs> what do you mean? This is how I get the bangers to roll in. One refund. They did not have chicken. So, it's only gonna go down maybe a little. And we had to replace the carrots. They didn't have the big ones. All right, I didn't think we'd get one this late, but we got a solid little single right here. Got to load her up. It's like 7.30ish. All right. So I got home a little bit after 9 o'clock. Uh, I did a 32 Ralph's at like 8.15. I got it like right around 8 o'clock. Ran that. That got me to 4.57. I didn't quite get to 500, even though it was a really solid day, some really good numbers. One thing I want to bring up is the fact that all of the huge orders that I had today were from repeats. And when I mean repeats, I mean repeat customers that I've had in the past. And so I don't always have days like this. I know a lot of the videos I post, it looks like I make, you know, 450 to 600 every day, which is not true. Uh, today's a Monday and it was a really good day. I got out early and I made several right decisions by passing up certain orders. And I happened to get lucky by being in the right place at the right time for like four or five different orders. So I'm really happy with the results of today. I'll throw them up at the end of the video and uh, appreciate you guys watching this and I'll try to keep the content coming. So I'll see you in the next one.